What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple just released the first public beta for iOS 16. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install that beta on your iPhone or iPad completely free. And if you currently have the developer profile installed on your device, I would strongly consider switching over to the public beta. And I'll explain why and how to do that later in this video. All right, so let's get to it. So first things first, iOS 16 is compatible with the iPhone 8 and later. And for the iPad, iPad OS 16 is compatible with the iPads currently shown on the screen right now. So if you have a compatible device, you are able to install iOS 16 or iPad OS 16 on that device. So to do that, we need to go to Safari and in the address bar, you need to type in beta.apple.com. Once you get there, you will see this screen right here. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see it shows iOS 16, iPad OS 16, Mac OS Ventura, tvOS 16, watchOS 9, and HomePod software 16. So all of those are available for public beta testing, but of course we are focusing on iOS and iPadOS 16. So to do this, you need to tap on either sign up or if you're already a member, which you probably are, you just wanna tap on sign in and you will need to sign in to your Apple ID. So it's gonna take you to this page right here where it shows the guide for public betas. It's gonna tell you a little bit about iOS 16 and you're gonna see the getting started, the providing feedback, all of that. But the main thing you wanna do here is under get started, you want to look for the blue link that says enroll your iOS device. So we're gonna tap on that link and it's going to take us to this page right here that says enroll your devices to get public beta software and it's going to outline basically what you need to do before attempting to install iOS 16 public beta so it's going to tell you things that I would normally tell you to do in a video like backing up and tell you about the risks of a beta software but the number one thing you should do is just do a backup of your device so go into your settings go up to your iCloud go to iCloud and then iCloud backup and from here you want to tap on backup now that is going to perform a backup of all of your data from this this current point on and if you want to be super safe this is not you know something that everybody should do but if you're really worried about losing your data you can also do a backup on your computer which I outlined how to do that in my downgrade tutorial so if you want to see that that is linked down in the description below but you can see there we just did a successful backup of our data so now we should be good to go and move forward with installing iOS 16. Now we're going to go back to Safari and go down to the second step where it says install profile and from here you should see a blue button that says download profile you want to tap on that and it will give you a pop-up telling you if you want to install install this configuration profile you want to allow this then it's going to say profile downloaded review the profile and settings if you want to install it so now we need to go into our settings you will see on the main page right here it says profile downloaded tap on that it will show the profile right here it will say ios 16 public beta you want to tap on install in the top right corner put in your passcode you're going to see a consent message right here just tap on install in the top right hand corner and then it will install the profile and it says a restart is required but it's really not just tap on not now tap on done then go all the way back to our software update section and now you will see the ios 16 public beta populates right here in our software update section and to install the software just tap on download and install put in your passcode and wait for it to finish up it could take a while because it is a pretty large download size and before you install ios 16 public beta on your device there are a couple of things you need to be aware of so first off is that some banking applications might not work since we are on beta software and those applications have not been updated yet to work on beta software so some of your banking applications might not work and that's that's only going to be fixed if the devs of the application update it to work with the iOS 16 betas. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting until the final release in September for that to be fixed. Now, of course, you can't always use Safari to log into your banks, but that's one thing to be aware of. This does also happen for other applications as well. So most of the applications work right now. I've personally not run into any applications that don't work, but I have seen some people mention that. Also, don't be surprised on these public betas if you see a lot of issues and a lot of bugs with the lock screen. So a lot of those have been resolved now through the developer betas, but there are still some issues here on the lock screen when you go to add new wallpapers and just add widgets to your lock screen. It's a really cool feature, but you might run into bugs. So that is another thing to keep in mind. Oh, and one other big thing I wanted to mention is that if you are going to install iOS 16 and you start texting people that are on iOS 15, if you edit a message, it's going to send them a separate 
separate message saying that you edited that message. So for instance, if I send this right here and I go to edit this, if I meant to say like, hi, how are you? You can see if I tap on the plus right there, it just changes the text and it says edited. However, for somebody on iOS 15, it's going to send them a second message afterwards saying what you edited that message to. And then also if you wanted to unsend a message, it's not going to unsend to somebody on iOS 15. So keep that in mind. If you want to use those features, make sure the person you're texting is also on iOS 16. And one last thing I wanted to mention is that you need to use the feedback application. So like I said, you are going to run into bugs. And if you install iOS 16 public beta, you will get access to the feedback application. So if you go into this right here, sign in, and if you run into any bugs, it's good to go in here and tap on new feedback iOS and iPad OS and fill this form out detailing exactly what that bug is. Or if you even have like a request to fix a feature or add a feature, this is where you do it. You know, posting on social media and commenting on my videos is nice and it helps me, you know, be aware of that and maybe make it into a video, but it's not going to get to the root of the problem. If you want to get to the root of the problem, you need to report all of your bugs in the feedback application. And there's really just a lot to see with iOS 16. It's really a great update. And if you want to see over 100 new features in iOS 16, I will have that video linked on the video right now up in the cards and also down in the description below. Now let's answer the question. If you have the developer profile currently installed, should you switch over to the public beta? So I would say that if you're installing these betas on your main device, the device you rely on every day for phone calls and you know meetings and things like that, then I probably would switch over to a public beta because you will avoid some of the potential major bugs that could be introduced in the developer betas. However, you know if you're already expecting bugs and you know how to navigate around bugs, you've done this before, then sure, just stick with the developer beta, but the public betas are just well known for being less risky since they do get risky released afterwards and that you know allows Apple to have time to fix things that might have gone wrong in the developer beta. That's why sometimes you'll see a public beta with a slightly different build number than the developer beta. Although more often than not, the developers just kind of get stuck with that bug for a prolonged period, whereas the public beta testers just avoid it completely. So now if you want to remove the developer profile and install the public beta profile, here's how you do it. So go into your settings, go down to general, then down to VPN and device management. And then you will see under configuration profile, you will see your iOS 16 developer profile right here. So what you want to do is tap on remove profile, put in your passcode and then tap on remove once again, and you don't need to restart. And now all you need to do is go back in the beginning of this video where I showed you how to install the public beta, go ahead and install the public beta profile. And then it will show up right here in your VPN and device management section. And you will start getting the public beta updates and not the developer beta updates. Now keep in mind, you're not going to see a new update right here. You're not going to see iOS 16 public beta because it has the same build number as developer beta three. So you're only going to see an update populate in here the next time a public beta gets released and from then on. And keep in mind for future updates, the developer beta and the public beta updates usually have the exact same build number. So sometimes they're different, but most of the time the build numbers are exactly the same. The only difference is that developers get the update first and again, Again, that's because if there's a major issue with that, you know, Apple has time to fix it for the public beta testers and the public betas can come out as early as the same day as the developer betas or as late as the following week. It just depends on where we're at in the beta cycle. But yeah, guys, there you have it. That is how you can install the public beta of iOS 16 or iPad OS 16 without paying the $99 a year for a developer account or using piracy to get the developer profile for free. And for those asking about me personally, I am going to be installing iOS 16 public beta on my main device. I never run the developer betas on my main device. I just think it's a bad idea. Even though I know how to navigate around it, I just prefer having the public beta just for a lot less risk you know, on my main device that I rely heavily on. But yeah, let me know if you guys installed this down in the comment section below. Let me know what device you installed it on and if it's your main device or not. I'm very curious to see where you guys installed this. And of course, let me know how it's running for you as well after a couple of days. But if this video helped you out, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 16 coverage coming very, very soon. I make iOS 16 update videos every single week. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.